Three Eye Atlas's mysterious escort objects repositioned themselves during the event, forming a different geometric pattern than their usual configuration. Three Eye Atlas just fired a beam of concentrated energy directly at Earth, and what happened when that beam hit our planet is unlike anything scientists have ever witnessed. The event occurred without warning. Multiple observatories detected a sudden massive increase in electromagnetic output from 3i Atlas. Then, for exactly 47 seconds, the object focused an intense beam of coherent light toward Earth with precision that suggests targeting rather than random emission. The beam was so powerful, it was visible to multiple space-based telescopes and even triggered alerts on military early warning systems designed to detect hostile energy weapons. But here's what makes this truly alarming. The beam didn't just pass by Earth or scatter harmlessly in our atmosphere. It hit something. Ground-based detection stations recorded the beam making contact with a specific location on Earth's surface, a remote region that just happens to house one of the world's most advanced radio telescope arrays. The facility experienced a complete system shutdown the moment the beam made contact. When the beam cut off after 47 seconds, 3i Atlas's electromagnetic signature returned to previous levels as if nothing had happened. But Earth's ionosphere showed disturbances for hours afterward. Satellites in the beam's path experienced temporary malfunctions. And most disturbing of all, the targeted radio telescope facility recorded data during those 47 seconds that researchers are calling impossible. Information embedded in the beam that shouldn't be there, encoded in ways we don't understand. What scientists found in that 47-second transmission will change everything we think we know about 3i Atlas's intentions. This wasn't a warning shot. It wasn't an accident. Based on the precision, power, and targeting, this was deliberate communication. I, Atlas, just forced us to receive a message, and we have no choice but to figure out what it says. Let's reconstruct exactly what happened during those 47 seconds, because the details reveal capabilities that are both fascinating and terrifying. At precisely 3.17 a.m. Universal Time, sensors on the Solar Dynamics Observatory detected 3.i Atlas's surface temperature spiking. Within eight seconds, the temperature increased by over 5,000 degrees Celsius in a concentrated region on the object's surface. That kind of rapid energy buildup requires massive power systems activating simultaneously. An astrophysicist monitoring the data described the energy signature. We saw power generation equivalent to a major nuclear reactor, ramping to full output in less than 10 seconds. Whatever systems 3i Atlas used to create this beam, they can mobilize enormous energy almost instantly. That's technology far beyond anything we possess. At 3.17.08, the beam initiated, not a diffuse glow or scattered emission, but a tightly focused column of electromagnetic radiation spanning multiple wavelengths from radio through visible light into high-energy ultraviolet. The beam width was approximately 500 meters at 3i Atlas's position, but remained focused. It didn't spread significantly across the 4 million miles to Earth. That focusing precision is remarkable. Light normally spreads as it travels through space. Keeping a beam that concentrated over millions of miles requires advanced optics or field generation technology we can barely theorize about. 3i Atlas essentially created a laser pointer capable of hitting targets across interplanetary distances. Ground-based observatories tracking 3i Atlas captured the moment of beam emission. The footage shows a brilliant point of light erupting from 3i Atlas, then a visible line extending toward Earth, like a searchlight cutting through darkness. Amateur astronomers with sensitive equipment captured the same phenomenon from multiple locations. One observer described it as surreal. You could actually see the beam extending from 3i Atlas toward Earth, not reflected off dust or atmosphere, but visible in space itself. Whatever wavelengths made up that beam, they were interacting with something in the vacuum between 3i Atlas and Earth to create visible light. The beam maintained constant intensity for 41 seconds, then pulsed three times in rapid succession, bright, dim, bright, dim, bright, before cutting off completely at 3.17.55. Those pulses weren't random fluctuations. They were deliberate modulation, like someone blinking a flashlight in code. During those 47 seconds, 
Every telescope pointed at 3i Atlas recorded unusual activity. Multiple bright spots appeared on the object's surface surrounding the primary beam source, suggesting supporting systems or perhaps targeting mechanisms. The beam's path to Earth was precisely calculated. It didn't just aim at our planet generally, it targeted a specific ground location with accuracy that suggests 3Pi Atlas knows exactly where that facility is and chose it deliberately. The beam struck the Arecibo Observatory replacement facility in Puerto Rico, one of Earth's most powerful radio telescope installations and significantly one of the primary sites attempting to communicate with 3I Atlas. The facility's instruments detected the incoming beam approximately 0.7 seconds before impact, just enough. Time for automated safety systems to activate, but not enough to prevent what happened next. When the beam hit, every electronic system in the facility experienced simultaneous overload. A facility engineer described the chaos. Every circuit breaker tripped at once. Computer systems crashed. Data storage arrays went offline. Even backup power systems failed. It was like a massive electromagnetic pulse weapon hit us, except this was targeted, precise, and left no permanent damage. Everything came back online within minutes once the beam stopped. But during those 47 seconds, while systems were overloaded, something extraordinary happened. The facility's recording systems, despite being offline, somehow captured data. When engineers reviewed the systems after power restoration, they found approximately 3.2 GB of information that appeared in storage units supposedly non-functional during the BEAM event. A data recovery specialist examining the mysterious files explained the impossibility. These drives were offline. No power, no write capability. Yet they contained data timestamped to the exact 47-second BEAM event. The information appears to have been written directly into the storage medium at the quantum level, bypassing all normal recording processes. That technology doesn't exist in any human system we know about. The data structure is unlike anything the facility has encountered. The files aren't in any recognizable format. Not human computer protocols, not standard data encoding, nothing that existing software can open or interpret. Yet the data is clearly organized, showing structure and apparent hierarchy that indicates purposeful information architecture. But here's what makes this especially unsettling. The beam didn't just hit the main telescope dish. Satellite tracking of the beam path shows it also illuminated three other locations during those 47 seconds. A radio telescope array in China, a deep space tracking station in Australia, and the European Space Agency's communications facility in Spain. All four locations experienced simultaneous systems disruptions, and all four found unexplained data in their storage systems afterward. 3Chi Atlas didn't target one location. It hit four major radio telescope facilities on four continents in a single beam event. Either the beam split to hit multiple targets simultaneously, or 3I Atlas fired multiple beams in such rapid succession they appeared as a single event. Either capability demonstrates technology far beyond our understanding. An electromagnetic weapons specialist reviewed the event data and made a chilling observation. This was a demonstration of power. 3 Psi Atlas showed it can target specific facilities anywhere on Earth with precision, deliver payloads directly into our computer systems regardless of defenses, and disable our technology at will. Whether the intent was communication or intimidation, the capability is clear. Analysis of the data that mysteriously appeared during the BEAM event reveals information that challenges our understanding of physics, information theory, and what communication across space might look like. The total data volume across all four targeted facilities is approximately 12.8 GB, roughly equivalent to 20 hours of high-definition video or 200,000 pages of text. Fiointi Atlas transmitted that entire data package in 47 seconds using a method that bypassed normal recording systems entirely. But the volume is the least mysterious aspect. The structure is what baffles researchers. Standard data compression algorithms don't recognize any patterns they can use. The information doesn't decompress with any known protocols, yet analysis shows the data isn't random. There are clear statistical patterns indicating organization. A quantum computing specialist attempted to analyze the data structure 
and found something remarkable. The data appears to be encoded in more than two states. Binary computing uses ones and zeros, two states. This data shows evidence of at least eight distinct states, possibly more. It's like quantum information storage, where data exists in superposition states until observed. We don't have systems that can read information stored this way. Some sections of the data appear to be self-referential, containing information about their own structure, like instructions for how to interpret the rest. Several research teams are attempting to use these sections as a kind of Rosetta Stone, a key to unlock meaning in the larger dataset.